Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian. I have decided I will vlog daily from my country, Ukraine, since the start of this awful war with Russia. And in my daily videos, I try to update you on the important real life situations in my country, Ukraine. And of course, I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, culture, background, or whatever interests you. And today I want to speak about a kamikaze drone attack early in the morning uh, on Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. And uh, if uh, you'd ask me to imagine I start any of my conversations with the phrase that today the capital of Ukraine was attacked by drone kamikaze a year ago, I would definitely think this is a part of a sci-fi movie or, I don't know, a comics or something uh, totally impossible in the center of Europe in a peaceful and beautiful country. Ukraine. But this is the way our life is and um, I have watched carefully the updates on various social media, the news and there are a couple of things that I want to share with you just to give you this real glimpse of what is life now in Ukraine, in Kyiv and how we cope with all that because once again I'm really proud with the bravery, strength and optimism of uh, my countrymen. So it all started early in the morning and uh, orcs like to spoil our Mondays and our mornings. So one of the first explosions began uh, soon after 6 a.m. and lasted till 8 a.m. This is a very active period in Kyiv as many people uh, drive to work, you know, living in a big city demands more time. So many people who describe what they've heard, what they've seen start with uh, uh, beautiful descriptions of their mornings when they were waking up their children, um, making coffee, looking out of the windows. You see that the weather is so beautiful. I'm also recording this video on the terrace because it's sunny, it's warm, and people were enjoying one of these October mornings in uh, Kyiv. And then they have heard some unusual sounds, and you know that now we are experts experts in different kinds of weapons, uh, including um, dr kamikaze drones. Like, um, I liked drones uh, before the war, uh, but they made me feel a little bit frightened. Like, you know, I don't know if I've told you I'm afraid of robots. And when I see a real robot somewhere for advertisement or educational campaign, I always keep far away from it. I don't know why, maybe robot movies or something, but I'm always terrified with robots and I'm the one who believes that robot revolution is possible in future. So drones are tiny robots and when it was a couple of years ago, for example, I was walking somewhere in the forest or on a historical location and I see a drone, small drone flying above me, taking pictures, filming. I was always fascinated with that because like real technology is flying next to you and they demonstrate how our life changes quickly within this decade because back when I was at school it was unbelievable but then I have always felt pretty uncomfortable with them I felt like they are a little bit alive and now we are all afraid of uh, drones because they carry weapons and they destroy our lives these are kamikaze drone bought in Iran and I support the idea of the mayor of Kyiv that we have to break diplomatic relations with Iran we have to close uh, their uh, embassy and we have to fight with the regime of Iran because um, now many people protest inside the country and we know that this regime led to very strict rules and women and political opponents and students and I don't know western style life supporters are in danger and uh, even in my comments someone left a very smart and funny at the same time phrase that if Russian men fought against mobilization as strong as Iranian women, women now fa fight for their rights, everything would go better in Russia. And I totally agree with that. And I think that this war and the situation in a globalized world works like that. We have to take care of each other. There are no distant conflicts. There are no problems that uh, we may close our eyes on. So. Iran supports Russia with their weapons, support with drones, with missiles. Of course, they deny this fact and say they are neutral, but come on, we have the leftovers of these uh, drones and it's obvious. Uh, Russia has many of them 
and it started using them in summer but now it uses them actively i know there are huge storages of kamikaze drones in belarus and in russia and they direct them mainly on the southern regions of ukraine which is their main target right now and of course our capital kiev in kiev today there were four explosions and uh, administrative building and of course a civilian apartment house was uh, damaged uh, there were three people dead and 19 uh, wounded but saved also in my community thread i have left photos of a beautiful cat that was saved during these explosions and it tells a lot about ukrainians and the way we care about everything including our animals which makes us totally different from the orcs People describe the sounds of uh, these um, drones as similar to old mopeds and now many people react aggressively to moped drivers. So if you plan to visit Kyiv or other cities of Ukraine, don't choose moped as uh, your transport because it resembles the sound of a kamikaze drone. Also, I was fascinated with the photos of uh, Ukrainian policemen shooting at these drones, trying to prevent their movement. Uh, but what is also interesting, um, I saw some photos of uh, civilians opening their windows in their flats and uh, shooting at the drones. No one was hurt. I don't know if they've managed to stop any of these drones, but I know that many of them were destroyed and did not manage to reach the targets they planned. I have googled a little bit about this uh, weapon and I know that it's pretty innovative though people worked on it since the end of 70s. It's a combination of an aviation bomb but it is totally controlled by an operator who sits in a safe Orkland uh, room somewhere and operates it directs this drone to a um, uh, place they want to destroy and in case of Ukraine these are not a priority object these are civilian houses schools administrative buildings historical buildings so they simply want to create genocide against Ukrainians nothing uh, no rules or uh, in this war from the uh, Russian side and uh, also um, there are many countries that produce these uh, drones and it seems to me that the ones, well, the only ones that uh, fly here are Iranian, uh, but I know that Ukrainians also collect money on buying kamikaze drone that will be sent to the positions of the Russian army. And there are many other countries that produce them, like Israel, like Germany, like France, and even Ukraine. And the future of many wars perhaps will uh, partially depend on these drones. Uh, of course, uh, they are pretty small, they produce this sound, people say they look dark, but when they are in the sun they look yellow, and these photos, they like uh, take you away to future, but to a very uh, depressive future. And uh, also, um, they can fly in flocks, which is a problem because a flock of drones can cause very serious troubles to a particular district. In Kyiv they have targeted the center of the city and they have paralyzed uh, some of uh, the morning um, routines of people. But Ukrainians are strong and you see they even civilians shoot at these drones from their windows. So if orcs uh, see these photos they realize how far away on this civilizational uh, ladder they are from us. And um, anyway, um, I'm really uh, grateful for the attention that you pay to my country, Ukraine. And if you like my video, like and share and um, subscribe to a channel because the world needs to know more about Russian war in Ukraine and bravery of Ukrainian people and strengths of our allies. Thank you for buying me coffees, for becoming my patrons. I'm really grateful for that. And I hope you can peacefully enjoy uh, your uh, Indian summer if it is in your climate and also just to end it up with a more emotional thing my friends went to Poland and spent their day and in the evening they were asking people when is the um, time oh my god I forgot what's the English for that hour when you're not allowed to go out that is acting during uh, martial law like we have it we call it Komendanska Hodena you will guess it but they were asking what is the time of it in Poland not realizing that you don't need one in a country that peace so I wish you all peace 
and I wish Ukraine also peace, but only after the victory. Slava Ukraini!